Hello, I'm Ken Fogg, and this is NewsNet Baton Rouge. So grab yourself a tea or coffee as I go over with you headlines and news from our local area and region. On the campus of Louisiana State University, three administrators have been placed on leave while the school continues to conduct an investigation into hazing after the recent highly publicized arrest of nine Delta Kappa Epsilon frat members. Greek Life Director Angela Guillory, Assistant Greek Life, Greek Life Director Donald Abels, and Dean of Students Mari Funtes Martin have been placed on administrative leave by LSU. The nine arrested frat brothers are accused of conducting heinous hazing rituals on persons pledging their fraternity, including urinating on them, forcing some of them to hold painful stretching positions for hours at a time, and making them lay down on broken glass. I will keep you posted, so stay close. If you have an outstanding bench warrant in the city of Baker, you may be eligible for some relief from the Baker City Court. The Baker City Court will provide help until the end of February to any Baker City Court defendant who has an outstanding bench warrant issued prior to February the 12th of 2019. Such bench warrants will be recalled without the defendant having to pay the normal bench warrant fees. Instead, they will be issued a new court date and given additional time to pay any outstanding fees. In order to take advantage of this, defendants are invited to come to the clerk of court's office at Baker City Court between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 4.15 p.m. on weekdays or simply call 225-778-1866 for instructions. A Baton Rouge accountant has been charged with stealing $2 million from a New Orleans firefighter's pension fund. Wayne Trish faces charges of wire fraud and falsely reporting his income on several tax returns in a 38-count indictment handing down, handed down by a federal grand jury recently. He's accused of stealing roughly $2 million that was supposed to be invested in life insurance policies on behalf of the New Orleans Firefighters Pension and Relief Fund. Instead, he illegally used the money to gamble, finance his own home improvements, and pay off his own debts. The indictment alleges 34 unauthorized transactions where he personally used the pension money totaling more than $1.8 million between 2013 and 2016. And it alleges that he failed to report that income on his 2011 through 2014 tax return. If convicted as charged, he faces up to 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. The investigation conducted by the FBI and the IRS remains open. As a result of a multi-task force law enforcement effort involving multiple agencies from multiple parishes, five drug dealing criminals are now behind bars and over $600,000 worth of drugs have been taken off the streets. According to officials from the Ascension Parish and East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's offices, law enforcement seized three and a half pounds of marijuana and over 700 THC filled pens along with a lot of drug infused candy. The nine arrested suspects are being charged with drug possession and drug distribution, as well as with illegal carrying of weapons and firearms. I'll keep you posted, so stay close. Finally, the former owner of a Baton Rouge pain management clinic pled guilty last week to a federal health care fraud charge. Dr. John E. Clark, who owned the Louisiana Spine and Sports Clinic, located just off Blue Bonnet Boulevard, and Ms. Charlene Severio, who was the clinic's billing supervisor, were both accused by a federal grand jury in 2017 of falsely telling Medicare and Blue Cross Blue Shield that minor surgical procedures that took place in their office took place the day after the patient's actual office visits so that the clinic could charge and be reimbursed for both visits and the surgical procedures, according to federal prosecutors. Prosecutors allege that this scheme resulted in Dr. Clark and his clinic benefiting from nearly $516,000 in fraudulent claims over a 10-year period. Ms. Severio's case is still pending, but Dr. Clark, who was convicted, will be sentenced on a later date by U.S. District Judge Shelley Dick. I will keep you posted. These have been headlines and news from our local area and region. I'm yours truly, Ken Fobb, and I'll see you next time right here on NewsNet. Baton Rouge.